Hi everyone and welcome back and today we have a bit of a different type of video where we are doing a toy review. Now, first of all, in the interest of full disclosure, I have been sent this toy in I have been sent this toy in order to do a review on it, but I have not been paid or told what to say. My opinion is my own. But I must admit, I am looking forward to this. Because I had actually already looked at this on Amazon and I was really close to getting it anyway. So it just saved me the time of doing it myself. Now, this is actually my second time trying to film this. Because I tried doing it while the little ones were awake. And I may or may not insert footage here of what that was like. But no. I'm going to wait till this is unboxed before I actually show the kids. Because then we might actually get it unboxed. So first of all, I will say that the packaging of this is very, very appealing to children. Incredibly so. So, shall we take a close look at what we've got? As you can see, we have beautifully coloured packaging with the Haha -ha Land part of uh, Cubic's Fun displayed in the top corner. I must say, I do quite like the different coloured notes. With Musical Fun, Flashing Light, Bump and Go, and it's a Bump and Go that I'm very excited to test out and see how that goes. Walking Dino Activity Toy, Baby Dino. Now, it says on here that it's for 12 months plus. My little boy is about to be nine months, and my little girl is two. So I've got one who's a bit too young, one that's a bit too old, but to be honest, the little boy is doing a bit better. He's on the better side for mobility, so I think that this should be perfect for him. Which is good, because as you can see here, there are a couple of different types of dino. So it will help with spatial awareness, gross motor skills, which is good because he's still working on that. Safe material, which is going to be brilliant because both of my little darlings are a little rough. Okay. So we've got touch and go. So touch the back of the dino to make them move and play music. And this is something that I'm very happy about, volume control. I must admit, I do get headaches quite a lot, so really loud, shrill music is not good. I don't know what the music to this is going to be like, so we'll find out together. But the fact that you do have volume control is brilliant. That is a huge win for me. You can switch between go and uh, stationary for the look of it. Yeah, go and stationary. Musical dino toy designed for toddlers over 12 months, as well as being able to walk and jump children of this age love to explore and start to develop an increased attention span. This fun and entertaining toy set is designed to improve your child's concentration and observation skills and stimulate their imagination. Okay. Now this is really the only part of the box that I actually looked at before making the video which is to make sure that I had the correct batteries and whether or not batteries were included. Which they are not, but I have got batteries. I also have a selection of screws. So hopefully I have the right one. So I've misplaced my scissors. So I can use a very fine screwdriver. Break up tabs. There we go. So. Now, at the bottom of the box. 
we have a little thank you card. Thank you, valued customer. Uh, dear valued customer, thank you so much for your order. We hope you have a pleasant. Uh, we hope your pleasant shopping experience. Our customer service team will be at your side when you have any doubt or query. Best regards, haha, -ha customer care team. Now, my little boy was actually given that one for Christmas. He was a bit too young for it at the time, but he's grown into it. He loves it. My little girl has been obsessed with it since day one. I must admit, I do recommend it. Because you can't change the volume, but it's not so annoying that you want to rip the batteries out. Well, it's not annoying, I should say. Because you know where it's like some of the musical ones, you get to a point where you've heard it so many times, you just want to rip them batteries out. That's not one of them. Okay, so we've got our instructions. It would appear that it's not actual buttons for the touch and go. Not like uh, clicky buttons. Okay, so this is the part that I'm really looking forward to seeing in the action. Because this is designed so then when it bumps into stuff, it will change direction, you know, a bit like a rumba. It's going to be so brilliant because, like, how many times have you had a kid freaking out? because the toy's gone into a corner and won't come out. These controls are nice and easy to grip. But we're even a little kid should be able to adjust them nice and easily. And very light in the hand. No weight to it at all. Just awesome. So let's see. Now, if this is anything as robust as the caterpillar, I am in for a delight. Because, for example, this little table today, my little girl was having a lot of fun making it run off the end of the table. So it was hilarious. And it bounced nicely. There we go. So, he's ready to hear our first little sounds. Let's put it on quiet. Oh, that is brilliant. Little wheel go. Oh, This is brilliant. Okay, never mind the kids, I'm nerding out over this. Okay, I have to say that first impression wise, I am loving this little thing. Like, look at it light up. It's so cute. Now the music is on its lowest setting. I'll just stop you while I'm talking, dear. Yeah, music is currently on its quietest setting. It's not too loud, which is brilliant, because right now I do actually have a pounding headache. And that hasn't made it any worse, which is awesome. So for me, that's a huge win. I, I'm quite a huge fan of the fact that it's not clicky clicky. Because I don't know about anyone else's little ones. If it's clicky clicky, that's all they're gonna do. Just go clicky clicky. So that smooth touch is perfect. 
And I love the music and how it makes the little dino noises. I'm not gonna lie, it's making me nerd up. It's making me think of uh, Land Before Time. Isn't that just a little fun? <laughs> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to having the kids play with this. I'm genuinely not sure who's gonna have more fun. Me watching them or them playing. And I dare say even the cat's gonna join in. And it definitely does react to things in its way. So I did put it down on the little table and I put my hands in the way to make sure it didn't roll off the edge. Oh, this is awesome. But yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to getting this to go down and have a good play. Because I do think it's got a good mixture, even with me just having like a quick two minutes little play. I think it's got a good mixture between music and the cute little dino noises when it's moving. And I will show you the kid's initial reaction tomorrow, but I'll probably wait till after the little little man's had his first nap of the day so he is as fresh as possible. So he can enjoy it as much as possible. But if the reaction to the packaging is anything to go by, they're going to go insane over the actual toy. But my little girl, she just grabbed hold of it and she tried to do a runner. But yeah, I love the colour, I love the size, I love the weight. Be interested to see how the head holds up after a bit of abuse, because let's face it, that's going to be the weak point, I reckon. But going off the caterpillar, I'm not overly worried. I really, really want to see my kids play with this. But they're both asleep. Got to be a grown up, let them sleep, because they'll just be grumpy. But I want them to play with it now. <laughs> I know, I'm a big kid. That's the best bit about having kids, you're going to be a child again. But so far, I'm loving this. Can't wait to show the kids. So, I'll see you when they wake up. Thank you. As you even heard from my little girl herself, dinosaur, so cute. This has been an absolute hit in the household. The little boy is chewing on this bit quite a bit because he's teething the poor little thing. Oh, this did actually get dropped a couple of times outside. It didn't just like land on the rug or the wood, it actually landed on the stone. And I can't see any scratches. Like not even to these bits because you would imagine that if anything was to scratch and come off like these bits would damage first you know people like just the plain plastic but no it's all held up really well and um i mentioned in the first part of this video that i have been suffering always a really bad headache it did get worse can i have a minute please dear it did get way worse but this still didn't trigger my headache i'm aware that for different people it would affect them differently but for me perfect it hasn't got a shrill tone it's got a very pleasant tone to it that is also ignorable when you want to and i'm still finding the dinosaur noise is cute because it has been about a week since the first part of the video so there has been plenty listening to the dinosaur something that i would say and is um, these little wheels can't handle thick carpet that well. So the lower the carpet or vinyl, the better. But that being said, even if it's completely stationary, both of my kids absolutely adore it. 
So you really don't need it moving around. That's just a bonus. Even my cat's been loving it. Honestly, where I recommend this toy, yes, with the caveat of it's good to be aware that it's not going to go for a run around on thick carpet. It's good to know that in advance. But like I say, my kids, they honestly couldn't care less if it was moving or not. Like you saw, I pretty much had them fighting over it. Oh, something that is quite annoying. Cats. Um, something that can be quite annoying is when the toy has been inactive for a while, you can't just like press the sides to bring it back. You've got to turn it off and on again. But that's not the world end of it. So that's easy enough to deal with. But yeah, it does need to be able to hold up very well. As I have stated, my kids are rough. If anyone was going to break it within a week, it's my kids. It has survived very well. Which is brilliant. Because my little boy absolutely adores it, so it would be horrible if like, his head got knocked off. So, let me know in the comments below what you think. Would you be interested in getting one yourself? Have you got any questions that I could answer you, answer for you about it? Let me know. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.